All right, moving on from one of the best teams to one of the worst teams. And we hate to say that because we are fans of Lance Leipold, but the Kansas Jayhawks fire a coach in April, hire a coach in, I guess, early May or late April, whatever it was. Um, went 0 and 9 last year, 3 and 9 the year before that. They uh, Their conference odds, if you want to bet on Kansas to win the Big 12, it is plus 15,000. No, listen, just if you want to do that, call me. Yes, he will take your money. I'll take any of that action. We won't even tell anybody. It'll just be between friends. That's insane. SP Plus and the FPI both have them at 2 and 10. Now, that is because of the way that those are done up. It's the percentage chance you have to win a certain number of games, right? Yes. And eventually, it'll add up to where it gets close enough to two. You get some wins. That you get some wins. Uh, But their win total is one. Now, to go over is minus 200. To go under is plus 160. So, if you think that they are going to go winless, then you can get your plus 160 here. Um, Leipold, like, he takes over this team that has won one game in their last 18. One time in 18 games. That's pretty crazy. Uh, Kansas kept only one game within 14 points last year. Uh, we just had the story come out about them paying hush money to a kid to shut up about the harassment claims he was making against other players on the team, kids selling drugs on the team. Like, it's just a cesspool that has got to be cleaned up. Um, Leipold does bring in three offensive and three defensive transfers from Buffalo to Lawrence. These are all guys that know the kind of program, the kind of culture that Leipold wants to do. How quickly can you get that implemented? I don't know. I don't know either. Um that's the, you know, it, bringing in these transfers should help with depth or even replace some of the starters. Uh, but this is going to be a project. Uh, I mean, nothing, nothing they did on offense or defense created any kind of momentum towards this season whatsoever. And you have to wonder how much the players care, right? Can Leipold make them care by, you know, August? I don't, they can care all they want. And they're, they're still not. Talented. Just, like I, I've got them, not very good. I've got them going over the one because I think that they can stumble into another. Like I think they can beat South Dakota in that first game, and they, even that one might be a little <sighs> crazy. But I, I think they can. You know, they play at Duke, they play you know, Texas Tech. Like, I, like maybe they can find another one in there somewhere. They can because they do this every now and then. They they find a win that they're not supposed to. And do I think Leipold's a fantastic coach? Yes. Do they catch somebody sleeping? Do they catch somebody that doesn't want to be in Lawrence at 11 a.m. on a Saturday? Like That's what I think is more likely than them going completely winless. So I'm going over the one. Do I feel good about it? No chance. Nope. I'm blanking them. You're blanking them. You're going under the one. Under the one. Not if a this, good football team. I think this place is a cesspool. And I think your first year of taking over a place like that, you have to burn it with fire. You got to burn it all down. You got to get in there and you got to see which of these kids are worth a damn to keep, who wants to be there, who doesn't. Yep. You talked about that, who who actually cares. And and if it's some kids that aren't even the best players on this team that are the ones that care, those are the ones you got to play. Yeah. Those are the ones you got to play. So you're, you're, there's a, there's a good chance half of the players that you're going to play aren't even the best at their position. That's true. Because you're just going to have to, you're just going to have to let go of guys that don't want to be there and cause problems. Yeah. It's, it's going to be rough. So if you're a Kansas fan, we apologize, but you are in good hands. So that is definitely a step in the right direction. Thanks for listening to the winning cures, everything podcast. The website is winning cures, everything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.